Hello everyone. So in a previous session, I discussed how you can set up your dev environment for iOS as well as for Android and getting started with Expo Starter Kit. Now in this video session, I'll be showing you how you can use native modules in your Expo Starter Kit in both ejected as well as in an unejected version of your app. So let's get started. So right now what you see is I have started my app in an ejected way and what's being shown on the screen is a string apple and a simple video tag. Now let's quickly see what's actually getting rendered here. So in my app.js, what you can see is a React Native Device Info module being imported here. Now what this does is, it's gonna give me the brand of my device, which is nothing but Apple. And that, and that is being extracted through the get brand function right here. Okay, so this is good. Now let's see what happens when I start this app in an unejected version. So let's quickly close this and stop the packager and start our app in an unrejected way. So this is npm run iOS export. So it's going to change my app.json and it's going to start my app in an unrejected way. Okay. So meanwhile this app is loading. Let me just quickly discuss what I, what I said in the previous video. Now in my previous video, I discussed what was the need of ejecting our apps and what this module does for us. I also discussed some set of commands which you can find in my video, which were, how, which were about how you can set up your environment and how you can get up and running really fast. So you can also see those commands in the package.json file right here, which are for Android as well as for Expo. If you're, if you're directly seeing this video, I recommend you first seeing the first video so that your application and your dev environment is completely set up so that you can use this video for adding a native module in your application. So the main reason behind building this module was this, that at some point of, at some point of time, every developer feels the need of ejecting their application in order to use the functionality which is only given by the old school core applications which are platform specific like Kotlin or etc. So in order to use this, you have to eventually eject your application. And to eject your application, you have to follow some steps which are not so easy. So, so this module makes it that simple for those developers who feel the need of ejecting their apps by some simple set of commands and it's really easy. Okay, so the build has finished and what you can see on the screen is an error. Now what this error simply says to you that this module can only be used for an ejected version of your app. In order to use this, you have to use a command which is react native link, which is eventually you have to eject your application. And this is what this module solves for you. Now what to do, what to do for this? How you can run this module in an unejected version also? So let's quickly get started with what we have to do. Okay, so step one, create a folder with the name mocks and inside that folder create a file. I have named it, named it as device info mock.js. So let's quickly open this. So what this file does is this get brand function is simply gonna return you a simple string like it did for the ejected version which was nothing but apple. Okay so now we have our device info mock setup. Now how does how does this module know that from where do I have to get this string from? So to do this we we'll, we are going to play with babel so with this let's quickly add these lines of course and these are something that whenever my app is in a, running in an unrejected version what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an alias in my plugins and what it's going to say is whenever there's an import statement which has react native device info in it we'll just replace it with our mocks folder and inside that mocks folder the file that we have so it's going to take that string from that very file. Okay, so in order, to, in order to test it, let's just quickly close this and then close expo from here. Okay, now let's just run the command again. npm run iOS expo. Okay, so our app will, app will get started again. and it's going to start the bundle right now. 
Okay, so let's quickly recap the steps first. The step one that we did is creating a mocks folder and inside that a device info mock file. Inside that file we created a function which was returning as the string. In order to, in order to tell it that from where it has to get that string, we added a configuration in which for the plugins we added an alias in order, in order to tell it that wherever you find React Native Device Info, which is your core module, just replace it with your with your mocks file. Now, in the in the further coming updates, I have also I have also planned to add a functionality that instead of adding these many lines of code, a user just has to add their mocks inside this mocks folder, and at compile time, whenever he starts his app in an unrejected version, all the particular mocks file would be read, and they and the all the core files which are going to be there are going to be replaced at compile time with the corresponding mocks. So this is something I plan for the future. So stay tuned for the updates. Okay, so meanwhile, a bundle is getting uploaded. Okay, so now let's just see, do we encounter an error this time or not? And yes, now you, now you can see it's not an error, but Expo dummy device. This is the string that we added inside our mocks file. So that's great. We have successfully added a native module which is running in an ejected as well as in an unrejected version. So this was a simple tutorial regarding adding, uh, adding a native module in your, in, your, in your project. So in order to, if you have any queries or want to give a feedback, please do mention it in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.